Uh, illegal border crossings are coming up, uh, crossers, I should say, are coming up with new innovative ways to avoid getting apprehended by our border agents. Yeah, that's right. Previously, they would walk along roads or even take boats across rivers. But now, migrants are walking straight through the Texas brush, using makeshift protective gear to protect themselves from cacti and brush thorns. Yeah, joining us now to bring us details, uh, welcome our border correspondent, Jason Jones. Jason. Katrina, Bob, good afternoon. It's good to be with you. You know, you're always hearing me talk about how the cartels and the alien smuggling organizations have become more and more emboldened than ever before, moving further into the United States. And let me show you some of this exclusive video we were able to obtain from the Texas Department of Public Safety's aircraft division operating over 20 miles into the United States. The closest town is Van Horn, Texas. Illegal border crossers are also coming up with new and inventive ways to keep from being apprehended from U.S. law enforcement as they work with alien smuggling organizations deep into the United States. And here's an example. Look at this picture. You can see where they're wearing cardboard taped to their legs and their arms, including welding gloves, as they don't walk any longer along the roadway or, or different trails. Instead, right through the cactus and through some of the roughest country, along the southwest border. But look at how La Lina cartel is staging their narcotics deep into the country, but also high in the mountains, hiding their drug loads in the rocks. You have to remember, this is not on your border. This is deep into the country and on private property. Also, look at how the alien smuggling organizations are treating men, women, and children as a commodity. What you're seeing right here, this is a hide site. And these hide sites are part of the logistics that these alien groups who are moving these people, these smugglers, are planting all along the trail where they can hide from law enforcement before getting to Interstate 10 in Van Horn, Texas. And I will tell you, what makes me the angriest is seeing these women in this hide site. And I say that to you as somebody that's been on the ground. Look at the condition they're in. I've been there. Everything bites and has thorns. These are, this is brutal territory out there, and the environment is really something. And to see how these smugglers treat people, to see these women left out there like that, it's heart-wrenching, but it's what's taking place on our southwest border every single day. Back to you. All right, Jason, thank you. We appreciate you bringing us the story. Joining us now to continue the conversation, Georgia Congressman Drew Ferguson. Congressman, you recently took a trip to uh, the border. Tell us what you saw and what your impressions were. Yeah, I, I had the chance to visit uh, Eagle Pass and some of the areas there on the southern border. Eagle Pass is uh, basically ground zero right now, and there's there, there are more crossings there, I think, that are happening than just about anywhere else. And the conditions are brutal. And the lack of humanity exhibited by this by this administration um, for, for these migrants is stunning, <laughs> shocking, and, below, and, and beneath the office of the presidency. Joe Biden created this crisis, and what we're seeing now is that we're seeing migrants that are dying along the way. We're see, we witnessed actually a border patrol agent trying to rescue a migrant crossing the river, and then he had to be rescued as well. As we were standing on the pass at, standing on the bridge at Eagle Pass, we saw this. So, what we're seeing now, and what we are really finding, is that this is a much deeper problem. It's moving, as uh, was just reported, deeper into the country. And our and our law enforcement agents, uh, we we got to go to um, Uvalde, Texas, to talk with agents and do a ride along with sheriff deputies to understand the dangers that they're in as they chase these migrants, high speed chases, having to do rescues in this brutal, brutal territory, and. And, and really what you realize is that America's not winning, Republicans aren't winning, Democrats aren't winning. The only people that are winning are the cartels. And this is a shocking, and, 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 and Americans are less safe because of this. What we don't know, we know, we know about the, the millions of people that we, have, that, we have been, that we have detained, but what we don't know is who's in, the, who's in that group of the hundreds of thousands mm -hmm. of migrants that are in the getaways. Mm -hmm. These are the terrorists, the drug smuggler, smugglers. These are the human traffickers, the right. members of MS-13 that are coming to do Americans harm. This is dangerous and it's real. Yeah, it's a great, great point there, especially saying how this has almost become a rescue mission, uh, trying to protect migrants in this extreme heat uh, while also trying to protect our border. Uh, but I know you were just at the border, as you pointed out, but so was Ted Cruz. I want you to watch this video he posted online accusing the White House of enabling slavery. Take a listen. 
These children come in in debt to vicious cartels, thousands and thousands of dollars. And the teenage boys work for the gangs in every city in America. And the teenage girls experience a hell worse than that, with far too many of them human trafficked into sex slavery. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are responsible for the worst plague of slavery in America since the Civil War. Uh, Congressman, do you feel that Senator Cruz is giving an accurate picture and describing what is actually happening at the border? Well, Senator Cruz's words are, belong to Senator Cruz, but I can tell you about my experience there and what I saw, and it's a dangerous situation for, for the migrants. It's a dangerous situation for the, for the American citizens that are living um, near the border and close to the border. And it's also a very dangerous situation for our law enforcement personnel and our first responders that are being put in harm's way unnecessarily by this administration. And it's having an impact on their morale. It's having an impact on, on, on our ability to recruit folks in. Look, Border Patrol agents now are becoming administrators and they are, and they are, they are, they are in these detention centers processing these migrants coming across. These folks need to be out in the field um, apprehending the drug smugglers and the human traffickers. And, and it's really a dangerous situation that lies squarely at the feet of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. So yeah, it's a very dangerous situation. And look, we don't even know the real impacts of this long-term on our social safety net programs. There's gonna be a significant amount of pressure put on as these migrants are moving into different parts of the country. Look, you even have blue state mayors the governor saying enough is enough, quit sending them to our community because it is having an impact and is straining our safety net programs. So it is the, the long term effects of this are going to be devastating in the country mm -hmm. and in the short term, the, the, the tragedy that's occurring on the border and to the migrants and the, the human trafficking, it's real and it is a it is a crime. It, it really is criminal to see what's happening down there. All right, Congressman Drew Ferguson, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. I want to tell you about the Patriot Gold Group. But first, let me tell you that the S&P has already lost $8.2 trillion in 2022. Did you know that? Peak inflation is not even hit despite the Fed rate hikes on groceries, on gas. You know it as well as I do. Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs are warning of another 20% drop. Inflation is winning in a knockout right now. The Fed is going to raise rates again at the end of July. Meanwhile, Goldman, Wells Fargo, and Bloomberg are all forecasting gold to surpass all-time highs. If you want to invest in gold, call 888-936-2373 now. Call the Patriot Gold Group today and ask about their no fee for life IRA. Sounds like a good deal, don't it? Here's the number, 888-936-2373, 888-936-2373 for the Patriot Gold Group. Mm -hmm.